Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel and the beautiful Carnival Horizon. Hey, lots of you have asked after you book that ticket on a cruise ship, what's included and what's not included when it comes to food. Well, this video is going to answer all of your questions. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and we'll be back right after this. This is the main dining room on the horizon. Now this is where you will spend most of your formal meals. The dining room does open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it's a little more upscale than what you'll find, for instance, up on the Lido Buffet, which we'll show you shortly. Now these meals are fantastic. They're usually three courses, and you'll love each and every one of them. And best of all, this is 100% included in your cruise ticket. With the exception of there are some specialty steakhouse selections on the bottom of the menu, which can cost you $25 extra for, let's say, a filet mignon or a lobster tail. But for the most part, this dining room is 100% included. Okay, so we're on the Lido deck and at the Blue Iguana Cantina. They're just closing up for lunch, but the Blue Iguana makes great Mexican food, burritos, kind of like a Chipotle at home, and it's 100% included. So if you have a chance, check out the Blue Iguana. Let's go over and see guys. This is Guy's Burger Shack, and by far one of the most popular places on board the ship. Fresh burgers invented by Guy Fietti, the chef, who's also a sponsor of Carnival Cruise Lines. The burgers are fresh, they're not patties, and they're fantastic. And they also come with a great toppings bar where you can fix your burger exactly how you like it. By far, Guy's Burgers is one of the most popular places to eat on board the ship. And once again, Guy's Burgers is completely free. So when you're not hungry for something formal like the main dining room, this is the Lido Marketplace Deli and Buffet. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a very wide selection of food. They just closed up for lunch, so there's not much out right now, but if you were to come back at dinner time, you'll find this place crowded with people with a big appetite. Once again, the buffet in Delhi is included in the price of your cruise ticket. Another real popular area of the ship, and it's free and open 24 hours a day, is the pizzeria. Now the pizzeria, you can come literally 24 hours a day if you're hungry, grab a snack, grab a whole pie, they've got a bunch of different options. Now, while we're talking about some of the last free things on board, let's also talk about room service. The pizzeria will deliver to your room, or really anywhere you happen to be on board the ship, for only $5. So let's talk about room service as well. Some of the older ships still have 24-hour free room service where you can order anything on the menu 100% free. The newer ships, like the Carnival Horizon, have about a 50-50 room service. Half of the items are going to be free and half of the other items are going to be about $5 to $6 to deliver to your room. Room service is also open 24 hours a day. Okay guys, so we went over all the free things on board that are included with your ticket. Now, let's talk about the extra places that you can eat that are going to cost you a little more and offer you some variety as well. We're going to start with the Seafood Shack right here on the back of the Lido deck. The Seafood Shack is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And for between $5 and $25, you can get some of the freshest seafood on board. Two other specialty restaurants on board the Horizon, and lots of the other ships have them as well, is the Casina de Capitano. It's an Italian restaurant. It's free for lunch and $15 per person for dinner, or the Asian Kitchen. It's also free for lunch, $15 for dinner, and they're open throughout the day, so make sure you check your onboard times, and it will tell you when they're open. Here on the promenade deck, we have the Java Blue Cafe and Shake Spot. This is where you're gonna to come to get your specialty coffees, milkshakes, lots of great desserts. The desserts are gonna run you between three and five dollars per dessert. Coffee's about two dollars and fifty cents, but here's a tip for you. If you have the Carnival Cheers package, 
All of your coffees and all of your milkshakes are free through the entire voyage that you're on. Also, while we're talking about beverages, let's also talk about what's included and what's not included as far as beverages on the ship. Pretty much anything non-carbonated and non-alcoholic is included. Or you can also buy the Bubbles program, which will give you all of your sodas for free, or the Cheers package, which will give you all of your sodas, all of your milkshakes, coffees, and up to 15 alcoholic beverages per day for free as well under that package. Again, this is the Java Blue Coffee Bar. Welcome to the Pig and Anchor Barbecue Bar. Now, for those of you who have been on other carnival ships, you might recognize this layout as the Red Frog. On board the Horizon, it's the Pig and Anchor, and it's barbecue dinners. You don't need a reservation to come in. There's a bar here as well, and they also have live entertainment. Now, the food here is additional based on menu prices, so don't expect to come here and leave without paying a bill. This is by far one of my favorite areas of the ship. Welcome to Banzai Sushi. Now sushi here is fantastic. It's gonna cost you about 20 to $25 for a party of two, but also connected here is a little known secret, follow me. They also have a hibachi grill. Now if you plan on doing the hibachi, you wanna make reservations early because it does sell out really fast for the entire voyage. The Banzai grill and is gonna cost between $25 and $35 per person, depending on what you order off the menu. Great bargain, great food. Now, if you're looking for something a little more formal, a little more upscale, and top quality food, come to the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. Again, you're gonna to wanna to make your reservations early because it does fill up. And here you're gonna have your fine wines, fine steaks, seafood. It's a three course meal and it even ends with a chef doing a, an art at the table dessert where he actually turns your entire table into a work of art. This is a great place to eat and here's a little tip for you. If you come on the very first night, it includes a free bottle of wine. You have to ask for it, they're not going to offer it, but trust me, it's yours. Dinner here is going to cost you $35 per person in addition to your cruise ticket. And last, but certainly not least, the sweetest place you're on the ship, Cherry on Top. This is where you can come buy bulk candy or even get an ice cream cone. They keep it cold, the staff is very friendly, and the prices are pretty reasonable. This is the Cherry on Top. Thanks guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you're not already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are going to give away a beautiful photo of the Carnival Horizon to one subscriber. You also have to share me on at least one of your social medias as well. See you on the next one.